product research. So I know it's very repetitive, right? But this is how you guys learn. So, um, so yeah, again, you guys are going to be getting a list like this from your sources, like OA beans, OA deals. If you have a VA or your, or your personal effort, so it's usually, you know, a list with like a product name, an Amazon link, supplier link. So you open both um, links. Can you see it? Okay. So side note, if you don't have Rakuten, you should have a Rakuten account on, on your Chrome for cashback. All right. So... First step is for you to set up your seller amp, especially if you're a new seller. So you, so you go to your settings, you go to the bottom where it says additional cost. Your prep fee would be 220 because you're paying a dollar for Amazon shipping fees and about a dollar and 20 cents for your prep. And then on your miscellaneous fee, you would put 10% cover taxes. And from here, click save. And then refresh. And then from here, you would check if the products match from your supplier's website and your Amazon uh, product page. So this one looks the same, I think. So Keurig, K Slim, Black, Single Serve, K Coke, Maker. K Slim, Single Serve, K Coke. Maker, it's the same. Hmm. Looks the same, right? Yeah. Uh, so two point three pounds capacity. Uh, hmm. I'm looking at the size real quick to make sure. Is it the same, guys? Right now, I think it looks the same. What about the IP alert? alert or are you just doing this for... Um... Oh. Oh, the IP alert? Um, I I got to pay my, my subscription. <laughs> oh, okay. It's asking me to pay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, my thing just expired, so... Yeah, but if it said, I thought if it says IP alert on the Amazon page, that but that, that I skip those. Um, no, like um, mine popped up because of of um a payment. Oh, issue. because of subscription. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So this one looks the same. So from here, I I would plug in the number. So the cost is ninety nine dollars. Right, for my supplier, ninety nine dollars. They put ninety nine dollars here. Nope. And then your sale price is says one hundred twenty four dollars here. I mean, this other seller is selling at one hundred eighty. So just to double check, I will look at Keepa. Oh, okay. You guys see it? So the pink line, if you base it from Keepa, this product is selling at 138 or like 140. You guys see it? Yeah. So this has been the price for the past like three months, right? 140 bucks or 138. I would use that price. Um just to be safe. So 138. Oh, 38. So at 138, you're going to be like a negative ROI, right? But but if you if you're feeling risky though, <laughs> you can price it at 180 like like this guy. I mean I I don't recommend it though. 
but at 180, you're going to be at 31% ROI. I wouldn't do it. Except that if you base it on Keepa, for the past three months, this is at 140 bucks. Does that make sense? Yes. So would you guys do it? No. I wouldn't. He also um type in the chat, yes or no. <laughs> what about you buy like three to test it out? Would that be a good idea or too risky? Or is better to just let it go? Um, I mean, depending on, on how risky you are, really. Because <laughs> if if you're if you're playing it on the safe side, the past ninety days, right? This product is selling at like one forty. So at 140, you're going to be at a negative ROI. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. So for most people, it's a no. But if you want to be like this guy, <laughs> this guy's oh, wow. 180 bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this guy's kind of like, you know, risking it. <laughs> yeah, that's why, you know, I was like maybe three, but, you know, maybe three is not even worth it to I mean, you can if you want. Um, see the chat. How many? How many he has in inventory? Again, I didn't see the the how many. Oh, oh guys two. You see only two. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus, this one is also a, an oversized small, right here. Mm -hmm. Which means you're paying more for shipping. Oh, okay. Remember that, okay? So, oversized and oversized small, you pay more for shipping. So instead of paying a dollar or less. Usually you're paying like five to ten dollars, depending on the weight. Oh, I see. Okay. So people tend to stay away from from oversized um <clears throat> products too. But on the flip side, though, if you sell oversized products, um, there's gonna be less competition. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> kind of like you gotta balance Pick it out. Side. Pick your yeah. side, yeah. Pick your side. I would do like three. I would do three. Just you know, just to see what happens. Yeah. So, yeah, this one, so-so, let's, let's put maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, the thing about, this one's also high ticket, meaning you're spending a lot, right, per unit. So it's technically higher risk also, but also less competition. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah, but honestly, though, if you're if you're like a newer seller, there's no reason to be risky, you know, because you don't want to be making you know <laughs> mistakes, and you're like getting depleted with your capital. So, all right. Next product, so for breeze, dual action, GPA, air purifier, filter. So this one, just ignore it because I need to pay my subscription. All right. So dual action, air purifier, filter. FRF101B. Oh, yeah, right here. Same product, right? Same product. This one is a two pack. And this one is, I think, a one piece. Yeah, it's one piece. So 18.39 times two. Times two is 36.78. Hey, what? That makes sense. Thirty-six point seventy-eight. Um, sale price is fifty-two. I think. Uh, no. Hmm. Change one filter. Yeah, this is a mistake. This is a no. 
Right? You guys agree? Yeah, numbers are not, are not adding up, so. Agree? Yes. Yes. So negative ROI. Next. So Will said agree, pass. More said said yes. Hayward SPX one zero two one zero eight two K SPX two K for Hayward pool skimmer placement. Uh. What product is this? I don't even know what this is. What is this thing? Like a, a pool equipment? Or a door equipment or something? So SPX 1082K. SPX 1082K. Where? White. Where? Okay. Looks the same, right? This is a weird looking product though. Hmm. I mean, it looks the same. I think. What do you guys think? Um, I think this one is a branded one. Hayward. I think this one is not. But it's saying it's for Hayward. Hmm. What do you guys think? Um. Yeah, this one's kind of iffy, but I'll just run the numbers first and see if it even makes sense. Jordan says pass. Morris yeah, they look no. different. Yeah, this one is an H, right? Right there. Yeah. Um this one is, is I think this one is like a generic brand, right? Yeah, I agree. But this one is a branded one, I think. Hayward. Yeah, this one's a branded one. Yeah, this one's iffy, but just for a number's sake, I'll just plug in the numbers. So 948. 948 here. Sale price is twenty two ninety eight. Sales per month is about fifty three. ROI is fifteen percent. Uh, I mean, it's a good buy, except that this one is branded and the other one's not. And then Amazon's on the on, on the listing. Okay, so chat. Oh, Elaine said no. I would pass. Had the same issue with a Hayward product. I agree. So I'll put skip or pass. Products do not match. So, Luis, this this mm -hmm. list that you're working from, where, where do you get that from? It's just samples from my VA. Hey, oh, oh yeah. Extra products. Got it. Yeah. Um, so Hayward. This is a Hayward. Hayward pull vac regulator valve. So Hayward V094 P. V094 P looks the same. Um, same or not? Looks the same, right? Full supply delivery dot com. UPC. The UPC guy. Yeah, same UPC. So same products. So 
So this one is 13.60. Sale price is about 37.91. ROI 75%. 30 sales a month. Hmm. That's pretty good. Um, this one has one other FBA seller with 26 units. And then if you want to look at Keepa, it's been selling consistently at about $36, 36.35. 36. 36.35. Would you guys do it? Yeah, I would. That one I would. Yeah, type in the chat too if you guys don't want to talk. Yes or no? Maybe. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> so more said it's a yes. Jordan is a yes. Well, it's a yes. Yeah, I agree. I would maybe, but it has low sales. Yeah, that's a catch with this one, right? Sales yeah. Is low. That's 30, right? But then there's only one other FBA seller with 26 units. True. So I, I mean, would look at who sells it. Yeah, this one is an only arbitrage seller. Jenny's online with like one rating. So I mean, I think it's pretty good. So again, do a test buy. Just do a test buy, you know, just to be safe. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks it, it looks good, right? Especially if no one jumps on this listing after you buy it, right? Because right now it looks good, right? Until someone like jumps on it. So, but but to be safe, just do a test buy. So put good. Is it the manufacturer? No. It's another seller. So. Next product. These are a bunch of pool parts. Okay, Pentair. Mm. So pent air for two four two zero zero two zero zero two five five forty F one forty for automatic. Gas shut off switch placement pool and spa heater. Okay, it's good. Um, this one says Pent Air, right? I think it's a brand, and this one's generic. Um, unless I'm missing something here. Um, do you guys agree? Brand is DPM. Hard one. So um, I look for the UPC. No. I think this one is a generic one, generic um replacement, and this one is a branded one. It says Pent Air. You guys agree? Yeah, Pent Air is, is a brand. And this one, I think, is a generic one. Unless we want to go here, check it out. No. So 
products do not match, right? 